Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the latest custom themes available off the custom themes manager application. And if you don't have this one already, I suggest you uh, installing it because it's just a lot easier for you to install custom themes directly onto your Vita. And that way you're not going onto your PC, uh, USB connection or FTP client. And if you're new to all this, uh, the custom themes manager is a must and it's probably in the top five apps to have on your Vita. So let's take a look at the latest and greatest uh, themes here. And I think the last one I did on this I covered about I believe a month and a half ago, two months ago. So I'd like to keep everyone updated every month. At the end of the month we'd like to go and review all the themes available for us and just have some fun. So we have uh oh here's the website the psvita.altervista the website if you're interested in downloading them off the website if you don't want the application is psv.altervista.org i'll have that link in the description for you so a uh, big shout out to the latest subscriber which is gary paulington thank you so much we hit 16,500 subs thank you thank you thank you I appreciate you guys so much and the first one we have is welcome ps5 and a couple of last of us ps4 k on theme 2 I do have this one installed the alt the all alt emit mine OS and I'd like to go through and see what our I don't know the coolest looking ones obviously I'm not going to download all of them or else this video would take so long um, let's download the ps5 so here you'll see the validation score we have a hundred percent 101 valids a theme dedicated to the ps5 let's press cross to download And I'll just show you the process here of how each one or how each theme gets downloaded. So now we're on this page. We want to press start to write the above custom themes data into your database or circle to cancel the installation and delete the extracted files. Okay. So I'll download a couple more here and we'll move on to see how they look. I'm going to download the PS4 theme. We have a couple of Last of Us. I don't know if I'm interested in looking at those. I will download the um, K on theme too. I'll do the GameCube. Um, not familiar with a lot of these animes. Unless it looks decent, then I will. I'll take a look at it. But for the most part, like this one here, I, I wouldn't be interested. I, I feel like it's just too much going on with the background but obviously if you're a fan of this there you go there's a it's a theme for you metal gear solid dreams theme i'll do i'll do metal gear solid dragon ball theme uh the bowser's inside story dreams theme there's a couple of mario themes hopefully they're just not different wallpapers the nintendo switch theme that one is not that great i i wouldn't download that one and i think that's it for the themes of this month so there's six pages five pages of new themes that you can take a look at here if you're interested in any of those but all the ones i named we're gonna see what's going on with those and i'll be right back Alrighty, so i got everything downloaded but i'm having some issues with my custom themes manager and when I go into apply an installed theme it gives me an error and if you are getting this just reset the application so just go home close it out and open it back up and after I installed this Mario theme I couldn't get back into it so just make sure to exit out of the app completely and that should solve that issue but I wasn't able to get into this uh, themes settings for some reason. So I had to go into uh, my settings here. Give me one second. Making sure this, my, 
my cable here is plugged in you can go into themes and background and here's where I apply the browsers I was a browsers browsers inside story theme and here you can see the latest themes I installed I just did six just for a quick video here show you guys uh, what we have but let's go back to the main and this is one of the themes Bowser's theme I really like the icons it looks really fun reminds me a lot of Mario obviously when it comes to the icons I'd go six on each side to show and display the wallpaper depending on which side and also for these you probably could delete these three or move them somewhere else to show that wallpaper along with this one you can take off one two three four and you can view all the different wallpapers by holding the touch screen and going into the option at the bottom go into this folder and you'll see all the different wallpapers associated with that theme if you're not familiar with how this works but you can see how uh, the bubbles there where your icons would go so that is very helpful that way each theme or each wallpaper is represented accordingly uh, this one has a kind of awkward setup you have six on the top one on the bottom that's pretty cool I like that I like that idea a lot so this theme is pretty solid I'm not a huge Super Mario's fan I mean I played all the games but uh, this is really really cool I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this one I like the icon at the top my notifications here oh and the notifications also have icons that is so cool check that out nice let's check out the lock screen real quick there it is uh, I kinda don't like the square where the uh, date and the time is at it'd be nice if that was implemented into the wallpaper somehow you know and not just this weird awkward square I get it sometimes it's a little difficult to uh, do that but no big deal moving on to another theme and that is the see we have the error there so just restart that yeah this this application can be a little finicky let's do that PS5 Oh, it looks like I downloaded six. Sorry about that. I said, or seven, not six. Let's go back home. And I don't know what this is all about. Here's the music. And I want to be copyrighted, so we're just going to delete that. And the icons look like they have a wallpaper of the square, triangle, circle, and X icons in white. And we have the PS5 logo on the very left of the screen. You see all the icons there to the left, right here. See that right there? That's kind of cool. The wallpapers are a little strange. We have the, let's see, square, triangle, circle, and X square again. Wait, what was the first one? Hmm. Here are the different wallpapers. Mm. Uh, it's just more of wallpapers, not really a. There's the icons, nice and clean, black and white. Check out the lock screen. Mm, very solid. See that? That's what I like to see. Where the time is in. You don't have that awkward square. So that looks looks okay probably not going to keep that one uh, let's move on to the PS4 there's another PS4 theme I think there's like four of these this could be an updated version but we'll still take a look here are the icons nice and clean blue and white and no change in the wallpaper that's hmm. check out this one I'd like to see more dynamic themes where stuff is moving in the background super clean yeah I like this one 
I'd keep this one. Whatever. It's clean. I like the clean themes. Moving on. Don't want this video to be too long for you guys. Uh, let's check out the K on. Don't know what this is all about, but it looked like one of the more cleaner themes of the anime side. Looks like it involves some kind of rock band or something. So if you're into that, there you go. And here are the wallpapers. And you can mess around with your icons where it just complements each wallpaper. Just make sure to have icons not covering the actual art of the wallpaper. This one would be difficult and I just don't like that where the wallpaper is just way too much. Too many characters or I don't know. Not a big fan of that. Unless you have one icon that has all your games in it or something. Yeah, it's a little too much. I mean, it looks it looks cool. Like that, just sitting like that. And moving on to the GameCube nostalgia. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> what kind of music do we got going on here? Yeah. We got the icons to the left here. Oh, that's kind of cool. The uh, actual GameCube logo icon for the icons. Icon for an icon. And we have the A button at the top. There we go. It's triangle. I'm such a noob. Oh, not a big fan of that. These wallpapers are not that great. I like this one here. This one's cool. Uh, oh, this one is solid. I like that one a lot. The controller can move around your icons. Let's check out that lock screen. Mm, that's going to be a no for me. No hard feelings to all you... All of you who created this stuff, you know, it's no big deal. We're just having fun. Get some ideas out for the users, the enthusiasts here on the channel. The Dragon Ball Z, I already, I already know this is going to be too much, but I said, screw it. Let's, let's have some variety. And, oh God, no, this is, this is not, not a big fan of this one. I, it's too much. You got too much going on. But if you're a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, there you go. There it is, right there. I like this one here a lot. That one's uh, all right. But for me personally, uh, I'd like to see wallpapers that are just much cleaner. And you want wallpapers that are just not wallpapers. You want something that will go well with the icons that will sit well with the icons nothing that's too much uh, let's see at the top here okay lock screen mm, that's all right it's okay yeah i'm gonna not have that one in my collection uh let me get, get rid of that one Let's check out the last one here. Thank you guys for sticking around this long. And for supporting the channel. We'll soon have some merch available for you. This one's a very awkward. Those themes are almost blended into the uh, wallpaper. Almost. That is so trippy. I like that. It's different. Wow, that is, these are some cool wallpapers. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more into like the purples and the, the dark lighter. I don't know, it's a weird style. The retro. I don't know how, what, what you call that, but. Here are the wallpapers. These are some cool. This is the same. 
Yeah, they're almost all the same. Hmm. Check out that lock screen. Nice. But it's the same wallpaper. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And hopefully, it will get me the best rankings here on YouTube. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. We do have an awesome community of viewers, enthusiasts here on the channel. That way, uh, we can communicate with each other and you have other uh, users that can answer your questions. So don't be afraid to uh, ask any type of question. No question is stupid. Uh, everyone you know, has a learning experience with this whole homebrew. So no one's perfect. None of this stuff is perfect. Uh, and even myself, I'm always asking questions on the stream and uh, just don't be afraid to ask questions. I see a lot of people who get bullied on the channel and if you do start bullying other users on the channel, I will ban your ass. So just keep that in mind. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.